honest Q and A time. I went to Twitter and I said, "Hey Twitter, how's it going?" Ooh. I said, "Give me your best questions, and I will answer as honestly as I possibly can." No holding back. I wanted to do just an honest Q&A where people ask me maybe harder hitting questions. And I just ask honestly. Unis honestly. <laughs> so I am going to do this. Hopefully the recording doesn't fuck up. And if it does, I'll take a hammer to my fucking computer and I'll kill it. I'll kill it. I'll kill it. I won't. But I wish that I had the willpower, you know? Because it's hurt me so much. Why don't I get to hurt it? Why do my hand hurt? All right, let's get to the questions. I'm not gonna answer all of the questions. I will answer some. It's usually how it goes. <laughs> right. How's your mental health at the moment? In this moment, right now, God, I did so much driving today. It's been such a long day. And I just wanna go to bed, but I still have more to do. And I, ah. In general, it's good. It's really good, actually. I'm in, I'm in a very good spot right now. I've been having so much fun filming videos, both for my channel and for Unis Honest, and things are just going good. I'm having a good time, and I hope that that shows through, through the videos. Have you ever made a stinky doo-doo in your pants as an adult? <laughs> Ryan. No. After you hit a million subs, which is going to happen soon, it's very soon, guys. It's very, very soon. How soon? I'll show you how soon. This soon. 986, that's me close. We're so close. What is the next big goal for Ethan and his cranky crew? I don't know, dude. Probably just make bigger, better videos. I've got some stuff on the back burner that I really want to work on. Um, and obviously, like, Unis Honest is taking up a lot of my time, and it's going to until it's done. Um, but doing stuff like that has really just gotten me motivated to make different kind of videos, to step outside of my comfort zone. Uh, but yeah, I just want to make more videos cooler videos. Do stuff with more people. I want to do more collabs and stuff like that. I want to do more streams. I want to do a lot more stuff. But my goal for 2020, my New Year's resolution, is less talking, more doing. Throughout my entire life, I've always talked about things that I want to do, and I want to talk less about them. I want people to hear about it through me doing it, not about me blabbering on about a thing that I want to do. You know, if you died tomorrow, would you be satisfied with your life? If not, what's missing? Yeah, I'd be semi-satisfied. Am I proud of where I am now? Yes. Do I really, am I, am I happy with the things that I have? Yeah. But there's a lot more that I want to do. Like, you know, I wouldn't be not satisfied, but you know, my, my thirst has not been properly quenched yet. There's still so much more that I want to do. What would you say are your best and your worst traits? That's a good question. My best trait? I think that I'm pretty thoughtful. I think that like I I think about other people a lot and I like try and do stuff for other people. I do a lot of stuff for other people without them asking. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm just like the most giving, caring person ever. I'm not. But like I try and think of other people and I try and do things for other people if I think that they need it or if they would appreciate it or whatever. I really like doing stuff for other people. Like both for them and selfishly for me too. It makes me feel good doing things for other people. What's the worst trait? I don't know what my worst trait is. I don't know, I get jealous pretty easily and I really don't like being jealous but a lot of times I'll get jealous. Uh, I also, like, have a, like, severe fear of confrontation and, like, disappointing people. So I'll say yes to a bunch of things and then not follow through with a lot of them because I just want to please everybody. And you can't, but I'm afraid of saying no to people or, like, letting people down. Uh, but then I just end up letting everybody down instead because I said yes to everything and I can't possibly do everything. Do you find this man sexy? Yeah. Which movie should win best picture? Parasite. If Parasite doesn't win best picture, I will riot. It was so good. It's not only my favorite film of the year, but of the past like few years, I think maybe. I loved Parasite. It was so fucking good. Okay, I love you and all, and I don't know if this is rude or intruding, but are you 100% sure you're straight? I'm sorry. It's a spectrum, fam. It's a fucking spectrum. I don't know if I would date a guy. It's a spectrum. I wouldn't say that I'm bi, but I'm not like one of those guys that's like, I can't. Ah! Like, I think there's plenty of people that I'm like, Chris Evans is super attractive. He's fucking hot as hell. Would I date a dude? I don't think so. Like I've kissed guys before. I haven't like made out with a guy before. Would I say I'm bi? I don't think so. Would I say that I'm 100% straight? It's a spectrum! Best lens, the one that I have right here, I love it so much, is the 24-70G to Master, it's an f2.8. 
but I also love prime lenses. This is a very deep question. I've always had issues with self-confidence and self-love because I have acne. What helped you with that journey of overcoming that mindset and building your confidence and self-worth? I think one of the biggest things that helped me is realizing that nobody really cares. Um, people are too worried about what they look like to care about what you look like. Um, also, it's a thing that everybody goes through, you know? The, the people that you see, like, celebrities and stuff with, like, perfect skin. Like, with pictures of celebrities and stuff like that, almost all of them are photoshopped. Also, a lot of people wear makeup. So don't think like, oh my god, Kylie Jenner has perfect skin. Well, she's got perfect skin because most of her photos are edited down and she wears a ton of makeup and probably like had some medical procedures done with her skin as well. No, the biggest thing is like, for me, was realizing that people don't care. Um, and it was a hard thing to overcome and I had to take steps to like, get through it and stuff and make it better. Um, and that was the other thing too, is like when I started to treat my acne and my skin, like I've got pimples right now, but I was like, okay, I'm doing it because I want my skin to be better. Not because I want other to other people to think I'm more attractive or something like that. You know what I mean? Do it for you. Do you ever feel overworked with how you're making videos? Right now I'm in a really good spot. I've been working super, super hard recently, but I, it's been, very good because I think I slacked for a really long time. Has there been times where I've felt overworked? Absolutely. Like I, I, I've talked about this a lot, but at one point I was making two videos every day and working 40 hours, 40 plus hours a week at a restaurant. And I was just killing myself with that. Like it was so, so much. Um, yeah, there, there are some times where I feel overworked. There are some times that I feel tired. Recently, I felt really, really good. Like I've been working super, super hard and I've been really busy, but that's been really great. What was the class you struggled with most in high school? Do you wish you had done you had done gymnastics for longer or kept up with it at least after no longer competing? My hardest class was math. I just didn't understand it. Uh, do I wish that I had done gymnastics for longer? I do and I don't because if I did, then I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be where I am today because I've, I stopped doing gymnastics so I could focus on YouTube. Do I miss gymnastics? Yeah, I really miss gymnastics. I really miss being on a team. I missed. I miss being that fit. Like I was, I don't think I'll ever be in that shape again in my life. And like, I really loved the sport of gymnastics and I really loved the community. Um, and so, yeah, I miss it a lot. Do I wish that I had kept up with it? Probably not because I wouldn't be doing this. Do you know how loved you are? Your fans love you. I love you. Not just for the content, but for you. I just wonder sometimes if you know that. Thank you. I do know that. It's nice to be reminded though. It's nice because there's a, there's a lot of times where I, and I'm not fishing for compliments. I'm not <laughs> about to say this to be like, oh, give me all of your compliments. But like, there's a lot of times where I feel like, you know, a lot of people only watch me because I'm associated with other people. Um, and that's really hard to deal with sometimes. And so it's nice knowing that a lot of you guys actually like watching my videos for me and not watching them because I may be associated with other people. It means a lot. Thank you for liking the thing that I do. Do you love Markiplier? Not in a friendly love, but gay love. I have nothing against gays. Just wondering because y'all be looking cute together. Love y'all both. No. Uh, we don't. Does it frustrate you when people compare you to other people instead of letting you be your own individual? Yeah, it does. Um, and that's something that like I've come to terms with. That's something that I will never be able to escape. And like, I'm fine with it. Like, do I wish that people didn't constantly compare me to Mark and Sean? And do I wish that people weren't always like asking about them or stuff like that? Yeah, of course. Like everybody wants to be recognized for their own thing. Have I accepted that that's probably gonna happen forever? Yeah, and the same thing happens to them too. Like I know that Sean and Mark both get, and like those are the people that I most commonly get compared to. Like I know that they get asked about me a lot too and about each other especially. And like that just kind of comes with the territory. Like do I get frustrated when people constantly ask about them? Yeah, cause like, you know, I want people to be watching for me and not for another person. And I know that people do. But do I still get frustrated with it? Yes. See, normally I'd be like, no, but I'm trying to be honest. So yes, I do get frustrated. I'm not gonna lie about it. I do get frustrated, but you know, it's fine. I get it. Why do you have a pair of shoes with right and left on the soles? I totally don't understand if it's to help you keep track of them, but your other shoes don't have that. 
No, it's not. I know the difference between right and left. It's just the style of the shoes. It's just the design that's on them. Pretty sure it has something to do with either ADD or dyslexia. One of the symptoms can be finding it difficult to tell them from left from right, so it seems like a very torturous way to memorize this. No, it's just it's just the design on the shoes. Honestly, do you credit your YouTube fame and success completely because of work? No, I am where I am because I worked my fucking ass off. Is Mark a big reason why there was a huge spike? Yes, absolutely. Like, there's no, there's no debating that. Like, the channel would not be as big as it is today if not for Mark. But the reason why I worked with Mark and the reason why Mark gave me the shot that he did was because I was working my ass off and because, like, I was super dedicated and I really, really loved making videos like that's the reason why i am here today numbers wise yeah sure like a lot of that has to do with mark but also like it has to do with me keeping it up too because if if like i started working for mark and then i just abandoned my channel then things wouldn't be where they are today it's the same thing with sean and felix like sean got a shout out from felix um, when he was smaller and like, yeah, Felix gave him a, a lot of subs and stuff, but people stayed because of Sean and Sean got his channel to where it is because of his hard work. There are so many other people that were shouted out in that video that are nowhere near the size of Sean and Sean is where he is because of him, not because of the shout out from Felix. Have you ever struggled with mental health? If so, how did you cope with it? Yes, I just stopped going to therapy actually for uh, a little over a year I was going to therapy. Um, and like that was how I coped with it. For a while I put it off and I put it off and I put it off and I was like, oh, I should probably go see a therapist. I didn't even realize how many issues I had until I started going to therapy. Because like, you know, I went in the beginning because I was like, oh, I don't feel motivated and I feel sad and blah, 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 blah. And then it just like opened up all of this stuff that I was like, oh, I really got to deal with this and this. And like, this is where this stems from. And like, this is why I do this thing. So going and seeing a professional who knows the brain, like I cannot recommend it enough. Also, just being able to vent to a completely unbiased person is so great because you can talk to your friends and your family all you want. And that's great, like that you should talk to people. But being able to talk to a professional that doesn't, that isn't a part of your fam family or isn't a part of your friends group and also legally cannot share any of that information is really great and it's really comforting and you feel very safe because you can talk about how you truly feel without the the worry of like because when you talk to your friends about your feelings like there's that thing in the back of your mind even if you trust them a lot is like oh what if they tell one of my other friends this and like i only want this person knowing it that doesn't happen with a therapist because they are legally not allowed to tell anybody anything that you tell them unless you are in uh, in danger of harming yourself or others. So as long as you're not in those two categories, they cannot share any information with anybody, even the police, unless you are in danger of harming yourself or others. But like they cannot, they legally cannot tell anybody anything. Um, and so it's just comforting knowing that like, you can completely trust them and they know what they're talking about. And like, you don't have to worry about like, oh, what if I like talk about how I truly feel about one of my friends and like it gets out or whatever, that's not gonna happen. And you also don't, you don't feel as like ashamed or embarrassed because this is what this person does for a living. Like they, they know how to help you through it. So that was how I coped with it. Uh, going to therapy was so great. Uh, cannot recommend it enough. I will probably go back to therapy. It's wonderful. Even if you don't have, cause that was the other thing too, is for a while I put it off cause I was like, oh, I'm not like super depressed or anything. Like, I don't think I have any like huge issues or whatever. You don't have to. <laughs> like, even if you are completely happy, like going and talking to a professional just about what's up, you know, it's, it's great. It's really, really helpful. What's your favorite thing about your girlfriend? I think how weird she is. She's like one of the weirdest people I know in the very best way. Cause I feel like I can be like completely my weird self around her because she matches it or goes above that. Uh, but yeah, she's, she's super, super funny. She's fucking hilarious and she's super creative and she's really talented and she's really kind. Um, but I think my favorite thing is just like, 
just how weird she is. It makes me happy that she feels comfortable being as weird as she is around me. And I'm really happy that I feel uh, the same way, that I can be weird around her. Do you have big pee pee energy? No, but I want to. <laughs> That's something that I actually want to work on. Like the meme aside, just being more confident. I want to be more confident. Uh, these last couple of years, I've sort of like developed anxiety. And so I want to deal with that better. And I just want to be more confident and more sure of myself and not be as afraid to say no to things or speak my mind. Cause a lot of times I'll just go along with things cause I don't want to tell people my real opinion on it or I don't want to disappoint people. And I want to just tell people how I feel more and be more confident. So yeah, you jack off, everybody jacks off dude, of course. Completely hypothetical, if it meant that everyone in your life, all of your friends, family, your girlfriend, etc., would never be unhappy or experience hurt again, would you sacrifice your career? 100%, absolutely. Because also like, if my friends and my family and everybody around me is happy, I will be happy too. But I would absolutely, I would sacrifice almost anything for my friends and my family and like my relationships and like everything for everybody to be happy. Of course I would. Are you a milk drinker? Because we exist. I like milk. I like chocolate milk. I like blueberry milk. I like strawberry milk. I like milk milk. I like it and I will drink it straight up. And I'm not afraid to say it. I like, I like milk. You can be honest, ever smoke a big fat joint? Sometimes. Are you a cat person or a dog person? I like dogs more. I like dogs more. I love, I love dogs. Have you ever thought of quitting YouTube because of hate? Not because of hate, but because I was like, oh, is this something that I really want to do anymore? Um, is this something that I would like want to devote my time to? Is this something that I think is going to actually like benefit me in the long run? Like that's all factors of like doing YouTube and like, especially doing it full time is like, okay, is this worth putting as much energy as I'm putting into it, no matter how much you love it, you gotta you gotta weigh out the pros and the cons, you know? Uh, I've never thought of quitting YouTube because of hate. That's never been a thing. But there have been times where I've for sure thought about like, should I be putting as much time into this as I am? Is there something else that I wanna follow more? How would you go about telling a girl that you like her? I know that this seems maybe not like the easiest thing to do, but people like confidence. Just go up and just say it. Try your very best to not be nervous, but I guarantee you, if you like a girl and you go up and just say without hesitation, just like, hey, I just I just wanted to let you know, like, I, I really like you a lot. Like, I like this, this, and this about you. Word it better, but just confidently be like, hey, I have feelings for you. I like you. Like, they will probably be a little bit impressed. Even if they don't reciprocate those feelings, they will probably be a little bit impressed that you just straight up like confidently just said how you felt. Try it out, see what happens. Wholeheartedly, would you die for Spencer Henry and Chica? No. I love Henry and Chica and I, there's almost nothing in the world that I love more than Spencer. But no, I wouldn't die for any of them, unfortunately. I love Spencer so fucking much, but no, I wouldn't, I'm sorry. God, that hurt to say. What's the worst relationships mistakes slash mistakes you've made? I think being too accusatory is something that I've that I've done. Uh, like not like owning up for my mistakes at all, but like being like, oh, you did this and you did this and blah, 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 blah. Like in many relationships that I've been in, like I think I've done a lot of like pinning the problems on other people and I don't take responsibility for things that I do enough because but whatever. Um, so yeah, I think that's some of the worst mistakes I've made is just not thinking about how I'm impacting the other person and thinking more about like how what they're doing is impacting me, but I don't think enough how about how maybe I'm impacting them, stuff like that. Because it's two sides to every coin, dude. It's relationships are a joint effort. Uh, it's almost never completely one person's thing that's making something go wrong or right or whatever. It's a joint thing. So if you think, oh, the other person's making this suck or whatever, you're probably also making it suck a little bit too. So, you know, reflect on yourself. How does it feel being famous or as well known as you are in this time period? Also, have you ever been threatened as a YouTuber? Um, I don't think of myself as famous at all, but like, I know that I'm more or less in the public eye. Um, it's, it's like everything, it has its pros and cons. Like it's cool, like being able to go to conventions and see people that watch my stuff. And it's cool, like having a community and it's really cool being able to like do this as a job. 
but also sometimes it sucks. Like, this doesn't happen. Like, I get recognized, like, a few times a week, maybe. It's not, like, every time I go out, I get recognized. Like, it's not at that level. But, like, sometimes I'll get recognized when I'm in a really bad mood. And, like, I just don't really want to talk to people. And, like, I'll always stop and, like, take a photo with somebody or, or whatever. Um, but sometimes there have been times when it's, like, I really don't want to to talk right now like I just want to be left alone like I don't even want to talk to my friends let alone like someone that watches my videos I say that meaning like I love and appreciate you guys so so much but it is in a way talking to a stranger uh, because you guys know me I don't know all of you guys and so sometimes being stopped by by essentially a stranger is not something that I want if you see me out in real life please stop me uh, and, and say hi. I'm, I'm almost always down to say hi. I don't know if there have, there's really ever been times just like out in the wild that I've said no to people. At conventions and stuff, sometimes I have to say no because I have to get to different places and stuff. Like that's some of the downsides. It's, it's tough because I feel like there's nothing that I can publicly do without people watching or judging or anything like that. You know, um, it's also like impacted a lot of my friendships too. Um, because there's been a lot of people in real life that see that I have an amount of success and um, an amount of fame and like they get really hungry for it. Like when I moved out to LA, I've had so many people from high school hit me up randomly and it's very obvious why they're doing it. Um, and so that, that kind of sucks. Have I ever been threatened? Uh, I mean, there've been like fake comments of like, oh, I want you to die or I'll kill you or blah, 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 and not real stuff. I've never really been threatened before. No, I've, I've not had a lot of like creepy interactions with fans or anything like that. No one's ever showed up my, at my house before, which is good. I've had a couple people find my number, um, but that was easily taken care of. Um, but nobody's shown up at my house. If you find my address, don't fucking come to my house ever. That is the one time that I will be an asshole. <laughs> if any of you, and I'm sorry in advance, if any of you come to my house, I will straight up be a dick and tell you to leave. I will not take any pictures. I will not talk to you. I will just ask you to immediately leave. Don't in any sort of, whether it's a YouTuber or like a mainstream like celebrity or whoever, if you don't know them personally at all, do not go to people's houses. Don't fucking do it ever under any circumstance. Don't do it unless you are invited there or you're a good friend. Do not ever go to somebody's house. This me officially on record. For those of you out there that may be looking for my address and stuff, don't fucking come to my house. I will not take a picture with you. I will not talk to you. I'll probably just be a dick and tell you to leave because it's not okay. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your deep, deep question. Did I scroll through all of them? Wow, I might have scrolled through all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your deep questions. I hope that you are satisfied with said question answers. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Don't come to my house. What is up, my crazy crew?